many of you think pay for ads um, on Google? Anybody do Google advertising? Does anybody want to create a Google ad? Yeah. And you have a Google My Business page. And so if anybody wants to do that, like, I don't know, Chrissy, you were sharing your screen earlier. Do you want to share your screen and go to your Google My Business? And I can, we can, I can walk you through it. We're going to just go through the steps of creating a Google ad for like, what's my home worth, for example, in your city. Now I get a good amount of seller leads from this. Perfect. Okay. So she's got her Google My Business page. And now one thing about Google My Business is they changed it for most of us, not everybody, for most for most of us that you 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 can only like edit do anything with your um business right right on the search page, right on the search page. You don't have like the business manager anymore, <laughs> which is fine. Um so uh what I want you to do, Chrissy, is I want you to go ahead and click on advertise. Um, where it says your business on Google and it says that first line, um, it says advertise. Go on, keep going, keep going. There you go, advertise. She's got like the the basic ad look, which is nice. So I don't, I can't even teach this anymore because I switched mine to like, it's like a, a more advanced looking screen and it's very complicated and it, it's not even worth showing. So I, I like to show it <laughs> on somebody else's who hasn't done that. When people... Uh, click on your ad where you want to go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on your website, but, but before we do that, um, we want a specific page. We're, we're going to create a squeeze page. I want to open a new tab, go to your KV core. Actually, I want you to go to your back end. We're going to create a squeeze page. And the reason we're going to create a squeeze page is because, um, is because we want the, um, lead to come in with a tag so you know how you got this lead. We're going to first check your campaigns. So go to your marketing, sorry, marketing and smart campaigns. And yeah, type in Google. Yeah, so open that up. So this, so when the Google seller tag is added, they're going to get this campaign. Um, and all it is, is it basically just tells the person, hey, you you clicked on this on Google. You and so it just kind of reminds them. So you if you don't use this campaign, it's fine. They'll just get the regular default seller campaign and that's fine too. But you have this as part of the setup. Okay. So anyway, okay, so let's go to lead engine and we're gonna go build a seller squeeze page. So yeah, now what I and go ahead and type Google for your source. And then for the hashtag, put um, Google seller. And then what area do you want to promote? Like your county or city? Like what's my home worth in city or what's my home worth in county? Um, okay. All right. Um, and so go ahead and generate the link. Now take that long link. Copy it and then open a new um, window, a new tab at the top, a new URL window, paste it in there just to double check it. Okay, just making sure it's good, okay. All right, so now go to Smart Campaign, um, the Google Smart Campaign and paste that link in there. Sylvia, why do you use the long one versus the short one? Um, because it's got the true domain her true domain and it will um, be less likely to cause issues. And no one is going to see the long link. It'll just be a button they click on. Okay. So it's just more direct and uh, it's the true domain. And so um, okay, it's just, the right. best, it's just best practice when it comes to advertising. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. It's a best practice when it comes to advertising. Okay. Then hit next. So that's the website that they're going to go to when they click. So they're going to go to that squeeze page. All right. So that's what it's going to look like on mobile. Isn't that cute? Very cute. And then that's what it's going to look on desktop. Okay. So then hit next. All right. So you don't want more calls, but you want more website sales or leads. So click that one. I mean, you might want calls, but I'm going to say you don't. Then hit next. <laughs> okay. All right. Accept. 
can continue. Oh, it's config. That's fine. We can go back. It's it's um it's. Do you want to um analyze your? That's fine. So now this part is kind of interesting. You get it gives you three headlines, and in the headlines, th these are going to rotate. So you know the head the headlines I use is what's my home worth in Cherokee? What's my home worth? Question mark. And then um and then the next one. It would be so, yeah. And I would capitalize this like a headline. I'd capitalize the headline, you know, what's my home worth? I'd use capitalization, um, you know, with capital M, capital. No, no, not the whole thing, just the words. Like you're writing a title of something. Um, mm -hmm. And then don't forget the S after what's. Okay, and then put like um, Cherokee County home values. Um, instant home valuation, or maybe try that one. Instant home valuation. So you can come up with three headlines, and they're gonna they're gonna um, rotate. Like, so, uh, you know, sometimes it'll say instant home valuation first. Sometimes they'll say, what's my home worth first. Some say it'll say Cherokee County home values first. So you would decide what you want those three headlines to say, but they'll rotate every time. Now description, this is something like, you know, something work with, you know, your local real estate agent, you know, expert, get their expertise, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there you go. Vast expertise in the Cherokee County area or something, you know. So you'll come up with two descriptions. I like it. So something like that. And then you can show a call. If you check the box, show a call button in your ad, you can do that where people can call you and you can put your phone number or your smart number or your cell number or a Google voice number. I would, uh, I would uncheck that. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> check your location. So that's good. And then go ahead and hit next. Um, Paul. Okay. It doesn't. Oh, um, yeah. Get rid of that. All right. And now try again. Um, there was, okay. All right. So then you're going to pick a few keyword themes. So home estimate, home worth estimate, appraise my home. I think you can, I don't know if you can have all of these, but at least 10, I think you can have 10. So choose the best ones that you think, um, basically what people might. Seller's calculator. Seller's calculator. Okay. I think appraise because people think that that's a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever, it, it keeps giving you suggestions. Whatever you think is going to be what people would be most likely to type in when they're searching. Mm. What does Zillow say my home is worth? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but won't Zestimate kind of make a Zillow reference? Yeah, the Zestimate did, yep. So get rid of one. Because it's, uh, yeah, all right. So, okay, if you're happy with those, then hit next. And you can always go and edit these, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now you can choose a, you can advertise around a certain um, address or you can, you know, just like click all this off and choose Cherokee County, you know, and click all that rest of it off. So there, you know, so you could just do the county. If you're happy with that, then hit next. And then you're going to select, select an option. So, I mean, I would do, I, you know, you can start with the lowest mm -hmm. or you can enter your own budget. I mean, I literally have like three, I spend like three bucks a day. Um, so, so, you know, I can do that one, or you can enter in your own budget so that it's like about a hundred dollars for the month if you wanted to, or if you're happy with that, hit next. And then you review your campaign and you kind of just read through the headlines and make sure you like it. And if you are happy, once you're happy, you hit next. And then you put in your stuff. Now you are going to get um, 
a $500 credit. Once you spend $500, then you'll get a $500 credit to keep advertising. So okay. if you're happy with everything, then you submit and, and then they'll review it and yeah, accept and continue. So, and then um, that, you know, you'll, you should get a few leads from this. Um, so there, that's how you do it. Now the leads will go straight to KB Core, correct? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's where we pull the link from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can test that out. You can, you know, go and you can edit it. You can do a different ad, try a different ad and with different, um, you know, come up with new headlines, new description to think about, you know, how else to get them, uh, mm -hmm. what else to do. You could try promoting a listing. You could try promoting, you know, a variety of things with it, but, you know, just, you don't have to spend a ton of money. You'll still get a decent amount of traffic. Remember those seller leads, you might get, um, people are going to put in their address and they'll get the basic valuation. Right. And, and if they don't, want and you know they don't want to unlock to get any more information you're going to get just an address but that's those are the ones that convert i'm telling mm -hmm. you as long as you follow up with them and you go find out who they are mail them stuff door knock them whatever you got to do they will convert it's weird okay. but, um, so, but you can get on them pretty quick 